Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Phil here making his first video on YouTube and I was wanting to voice my opinion on who I think should get Bryce Harper and there are a few teams that are interested in Harper and I think that he is best suited not for the Dodgers, not for the White Sox or the Nationals or the Phillies. I think he is primed to be a New York Yankee. The New York Yankees have cap space to work with so that they can get Harper. I think he is well suited to play because he can play more than one position with that team. And I think with him going to the American League, that will increase his number of home runs. And I know that people don't really talk a lot about slugging percentage and OPS plus, but Bryce Harper, when he was a national in his last couple years, was a good player. He had a good slugging percentage. He did become a good player. He's young. He's in his 20s, and I think if he goes to the Yankees that he is going to have a good season. I think he ends up getting more than $400 million, and I think he gets 10 years or more. Because he is a perennial player, he can basically be a franchise guy, he can turn an entire franchise around, and I think he is best suited to play for the Yankees, and the Yankees are a good team overall, and I think that he is good to play in the outfield. I think the positions he plays is primarily center field, right field, and designated hitter. I think you can slide him into the DH role, maybe even Judge, Aaron Judge. I think if you were to get if you were to get Bryce Harper and put him on the Yankees, I think the Yankees become a World Series team. And I think they outbeat the Boston Red Sox, they outbeat the Indians, they outbeat the Oakland A's, they outbeat any team in the in the in the AL West like the Rangers, the Angels, or the A's, or the Mariners. I think they outbeat any of those teams. And I think with Harper, that gives them a better chance to go to the World Series and win. And I know that a lot of you will probably be hating on the Yankees and saying that the Yankees don't deserve him, but the Yankees need, they need a good hitter who can slug home runs, and I think he is prime. If he goes to the Yankees, I think he gets around 30 to 40 home runs in his first season or first two seasons. And I think he'll be used more as like a DH because you want to conserve him because if you conserve him, then when it comes down to later in lot, like later as his career progresses, then he's not going to be like an Albert Pujols where Albert Pujols, when he was a Cardinal, when he was a Cardinal, and I'm a Cardinals fan, and I know from experience, when Albert Pujols came to the, when he was a Cardinal, and when he first started, he played every single day that he was playing over at first base. And then once you start getting him, whenever he signed his contract in 2012 with the Angels, then you started to see him not play first base. And I think that if you are Bryce Harper, and Bryce Harper ends up going to the Yankees. I think that could probably be the same thing, but you got to remember he's in his 20s, he's young, he's a very good he's a very good player. I like him. And I think that if he plays a lot better than Aaron Judge, I think he will be a good DH because from the top of the bottom of the lineup that is a stacked lineup with John Carlo, and you have Judge, and you have Harper. I think with those three, those three can hit for power. All three of them can hit for power. They showed it last year, and they showed it the year before, even though John Carlo wasn't even on the team two years ago. I think that team is still primed to win a World Series, and I think if they were to get Bryce Harper, that would really help. And I think... Also, that they can win a World Series with Bryce Harper in the next near future. Thank you for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And 
Thank you for your time, and I will see you guys.